And we're literally seeing an epidemic of these issues in the United States right now. Dr. Robert Melillo is the co-founder of Brain Balance Centers. One out of every 10 children in the United States now is diagnosed with ADHD. And that's a real increase. My name is Dr. Robert Melillo. My life's mission is to help kids and families with special needs. My wife, Carolyn, makes it all possible. Welcome to our family. Hello and welcome to our show. I'm Dr. Robert Melillo, this is my wife Carolyn, and we are here because we feel the mainstream media has ignored the struggles of families and individuals with special needs. We understand your struggles and we are here to provide information, support, and to celebrate your differences. We want to highlight the heroic efforts of parents, loved ones, and anyone who struggles with a disability and to provide a place where you can come and share your stories and inspiration. We want to be the voice of the voiceless and to provide inspiration and most importantly, hope and support. Millions of families across this country in increasing numbers every year face unimaginable challenges on a daily basis and we are here to help. We feel that to those of you that need support, information and help, that it should be provided and to those that feel that your differences make you special, it should be celebrated and nurtured, but that no one should be left behind and ignored. We're here for you, the families, and brave people with special needs. We will provide cutting edge research and clinical insight as well as everyday practical tips and resources to help your life be easier. We will hope to inform, entertain, and humor, and most importantly, inspire you to never give up and to always have hope that this is the purpose of this show and we feel it's the most important issue of our time. Nothing is more important than the sacred bond between a parent and child and a family and you deserve only the best. Whether you're a child or an adult with mental illness or a physical disability, an adult with a brain injury or a neurodegenerative disorder, or an adult with depression, depression just trying to get by, you are important and you deserve a show that can speak to your needs and your differences. You know, each week we want to try to highlight a specific disability and, and this week we want to focus on ADHD. Why ADHD? Because it's the single most common disability we see it's the number one disorder amongst childhood. It's the number one mental disorder amongst childhood, and it's quickly becoming one of the biggest problems in the adult community as well. We sure. know that one in nine children in the United States have ADHD, one in five high school boys, and one in 11 high school girls. Wow. And just recently it was showed that one in 20 adults actually have ADHD at this point. It's amazing. Um, it's a real issue, and it almost always comes with OCD and Tourette's or tick disorders or what is more commonly known as STEMS. St what is STEMS? What are STEMS? STEMS are what people refer to when they look at children that do things like hand flapping mm -hmm. or waving. Uh, we see this in autism, but also just repetitive behaviors, even hyperactivity where a child can't stop. Is that OCD? Is that what is considered OCD or? Well, it's part of OCD, yeah, it, it, it can come along with it, but it really has a true neurological basis for it. It's not a psychological issue. So they can't help it? They can't control it? They can't, they, they often can't control it because there's a problem in the brain. Wow. And I, I'm sure a lot of parents don't realize that, that there's really, it's not the fault of the child at all and nothing they do or say can really make them stop. No, no. So, you know, there are these imbalances in the, neuro, in the neurological basis. So you're saying that it's not psychological, it's neurological. So what exactly is going on in the brain? Can you Let show us? Let me show you. Yeah, Thank you. absolutely. So I'll come over here in my handy dandy thing here and what I drew here, and I'm not the artist you are, but what we have is a description of the brain from the side. And what's important to understand is that these are neurological issues and they're imbalances in neurological systems. So in the brain, in the frontal lobe area here, we have five areas. One that controls motor function or movement. Another that controls what we call executive function or thinking. We have another area that controls our eye movements. We have another area here that controls motivation and emotion. And another one that controls social skills. Together, all of these in combination make up almost every human behavior we have. And if we have a disruption in this, then it also can cause almost any major type of disorder that we see. Now what happens is that these five areas come down and converge into this area called the basal ganglia. And then they get filtered in here. And the basal ganglia either is going to turn them down or turn them up. And they're, either, and they're going to activate another area called the thalamus 
which is really the gateway to the brain that ultimately will turn these areas on and make them go in different combinations or different strengths. So what we see is that almost all disorders like ADHD, OCD, tics, and stims is really an imbalance in this system between two of the two loops. One is called the direct pathway and the other is the indirect pathway. The direct pathway activates those areas, turns them on, turns up the volume. The indirect actually turns them down and reduces them. And so what we see is that if we have too much of the direct and too little of the indirect, we end up with hyperactivity or what we call hyperkinetic behavior. The other thing is that this can happen in injury, this could be a stroke, but in development it often happens because of an imbalance between the hemispheres because the right hemisphere activates something called the hyperdirect pathway which actually turns this down more. So the right hemisphere really shuts these things down, the left hemisphere activates them. So when we look at OCD, it would be, let's say, too much executive function, too much thinking. We see problems with motor activity like ADHD or tics or stims, we have too much motor activity. We have too much eye movement and we can't focus on someone's eyes. And so we, we have something like autism where we don't focus in the eyes. Too much motivation um, is, and problems with social skills is a balance of this. So it's all neurological and it makes sense and the good news is we can change this. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually come back on the other side of this break and we're going to sit down with Megan Fields whose son actually struggles with ADHD and talk to her. This is the Dr. Rob Show.